Hi everyone, today I'm going to be colouring in this lovely little fish picture and I'm going to be using my Holbein, um, these are my pastel tone set but also I've got a few open stock ones which are in this box, I zoomed in a bit fast, it's difficult to see. Um, so we're going to be using these as well, so I've got um, various um, some greens and browns and a blue so I'm just going to open my tin I'll show you the other colors that I've got um, so those are their pastel tone colors I'll put my other ones in the other side and uh, what we're going to do is sort of review them where well, we have reviewed them before so we're not really going to review them but we're going to try out the new colors and uh, just see how we go. Um, I'm going to start by um, sharpening. I'm going to start with this one, which is the um, navy blue. I'm really curious to see how dark a blue it is. Now, I've got this lovely fish. Now, I'm going to do this water in navy blue. So in order to do that, I'm going to colour it in darker at the bottom down here and then a bit lighter towards the top. Just sort of fade it off. Now I find with the very light Holbeins that it's quite difficult to see a difference in the colours with the pressure. So even if you put lots of pressure on like I am now, I find that it doesn't really look that different to when you put a light pressure. And I sort of wasn't sure whether that was because of the pastel tones or whether that was going to be true of all of them. So I thought it might be wise to try a few more before I decided whether I wanted to buy them or not. And uh, I'm thinking this does, this is better. It does fade. I can see a difference between that dark and that light area. So I'm thinking that's good. But obviously it's still going to take me a while before I decide if I want them. You know, Holbein's are probably the most, the most or one of the most expensive brands of pencil. I think not, not, if you bought them in Japan, I don't know if they would be, but the import duty, postage, etc. makes them expensive. And I know you can buy them from Japanese Amazon and it makes them a lot cheaper. So that's something, but I'm a little bit worried about whether I'd still have to pay import duty, um, how you trust a seller in Japan, or can you just, maybe Amazon sells them themselves and maybe we trust them more, that sort of thing. These, as I said, I bought them open stock, got them from Jackson's Art in the UK. Now Jackson's is a lovely little company, um, they have, I think they've got a couple of branches in London, and one near to where I live. So I have been in, that end just snapped a little bit, probably sharpened it too much. Um, I have been into the local branch. Whoa, that's really crumbled, look at that. Look, did you see that? Wow. Okay, I'm just gonna very carefully clear that off so it doesn't make a mark. Some people use a little brush for this sort of thing. Okay, I'm gonna have to sharpen it. Um, some, um, sorry, I've got a lovely little local branch which I've been in a couple of times. I think I bought my zest stick blending solution from them and uh, some Posca pens and things. I haven't sharpened it that well. <sighs> but here we go again. Um, so yeah, it's a rather nice shop and the showroom is huge. It's on an industrial estate so it isn't like a high street shop. So you've got more room and uh, it's just really big and there's just loads of different all the different types of Posca pen you can think of different nib sizes and colors and things and then I think they do polychromos open stock I've got a breakage going on there this it's not really selling the pencil very well is it um so um yeah so it's a really lovely shop and these have come through the post which obviously means there's a risk that they may have been broken on their way to me because when we bought them the shop wasn't open I, they're open now I think but uh, my husband ordered them while shop when the non-essential shops weren't open so you know we can't really judge based on 
that. Um, obviously they've been shipped from Japan to the shop as well, but we'd like to hope that the manufacturers would have a good way of shipping them. They are very soft, which is what I would expect, you know, having used the pastel tones. And I think the problem with the soft pencil is you have to sharpen it a lot if you want a point, which I like. And that means there's a risk that I'm going to be going through these quite quickly. And considering the price, that does make me worry that I might decide they're not good value for money. So uh, I'm thinking about it really hard. It's not a decision that I'm probably going to make very soon, especially as I've got lots of other pencil sets that I really like. Now, the background for this is a little bit of a tricky decision because we don't have any other blue, which is what I would probably do. Um, we have a pastel blue, actually. Maybe that will be the one to do. I would really like to try out all of my new colours that I've bought. So, uh, as well as using some of the pastel ones. So we've tried out that one now, which is nice. I'm quite keen on this, this one here, which is... Um, called khaki looks really gold like a yellow ochre green gold type colour I rather like that I'm uh, keen on trying it out so I'm just going for it I'm going to do it on the outside of the ticket I'm uh, I know I don't it's a funny order but I just want to try it see what it looks like so I'm doing a harder application in the corner lots of layers and then I'm going to try and reduce it towards the centre and hopefully it will make it look a bit shiny like the others. <sighs> hmm, I quite like that colour. I've got a lot of blue going on here where it's smudged. I'm just going to grab an eraser. I don't know if you can see it. I'm just going to erase it. And a bit there. It does, I do find the pencil smudge a fair bit on this paper. It's not, it's not the pencil's fault. It does it with polychromos, I've noticed a lot as well. So uh, I think it's just due to the paper. I have actually written to the publishers of the book to ask them if the paper is different because I'm really interested to know and it might be that because of lockdown and stuff they couldn't get the normal paper because, or they might have just changed it but Johanna normally tells us so it would just be interesting to know what they say Yeah, I like that. It's quite a goldish colour, isn't it? It wasn't quite what I was thinking it was when I bought it. It's also hard to know if you're not looking in person, you know, if you're looking online. But I was thinking it might be more of a housey type colour. I'm not sure convinced that it is really. But it's pretty. Right, there's our outside. Now, I've got greens I want to try out. I'm going to have to do a green fish. It's going to be different, isn't it? I'm going to sharpen this one up. Now this is an... You see? This is... Oh, oh you're never going to be able to see that. It just won't catch the light at the right angle. It's leaf green. Now I noticed they've got a sticker and it's right on the bottom, which is quite nice. Some A lot of companies will put the stickers right near the top, but then it will still need sharpening off at some point but maybe by the time I get to that point it'll um, it'll be easier to get rid of to take off, I don't know hmm I don't know if that fish looks very happy that colour <laughs> but I'm doing the same technique for the uh, for the um, scales, sorry I couldn't think of the word then um, as I did for the water so trying to fade it towards the bottom now to be fair it's not working that well but with such a small space it's not easy for me to have the right technique so I don't think we can blame the pencil for that one there definitely is some fade going on 
I wonder why he's leaping out of the water. Now this page, this ticket page, I'm hoping each um, picture will be done with a different um, brand of pencil. Now for the rest of the bits we're going to use this one, this is the apple green. I need to sharpen it though. Oh, and when lead fell out of my sharpener, it wasn't the lead of this pencil, thankfully. These look like leaves, don't they? I'm going to do darker at the bottom and fade towards the tip. This is quite a pastel-y colour, isn't it? And again, with this pastel colour, the fade doesn't really show up that well, which is what I experienced with the, um, with the others. interesting still. Mm. Now I'm going to try out my two new brownie colours. This one is called Cork and I'm going to, it's because I'm using these colours it's going to look a little odd but you'll see. I'm going to use it on these bits. Oh that's quite a pinky colour I think. Um, and this one and then we use the other brown. It's quite good brown actually. I find that in my polychromos, my browns are quite dark. And this is why I chose these particular shades. So this one is called Sand. And it's very pale. It's almost a sort of creamy, well, wheat, I would say. I like that. That's going to be useful. It shows up enough to make it look like it's not white. But um, it isn't... Um, hugely bright. Now the fish's eye, I'm going to, I usually use grey, so this is my nearest to grey, this is the blue, it's uh, lavender blue, and what I do, I do a little bit one side and a little bit the other and leave some white and it gives a sort of glassy appearance, now it does look quite blue, that wasn't really what I was going for but it doesn't matter. Now. I'm thinking that this colour might be nice for a background. This is the ice ice green. So I'm just going to do a gentle layer. And I think it looks like it could be sky or it could be sea. I don't really mind which it is going to be, if you know what I mean. So it, you know, it could be that there's sea in the background, or that he's against the sky. He's leapt quite high out of the water. If that's sky, I like the way these are nice for backgrounds. They, it's quite easy. I feel to get an even covering of pencil, which is nice for a background. There we go. That's him. So I'm just going to leave it there. It's a bit squiffy, isn't he? Let me just try and pull him around a bit so he's straight. Oh. There we go. That's as straight as I can get him. So there we go. I hope that was interesting. I hope you like looking at my different shades of Holbein. The jury's still out a little bit on the Holbeins. It's just all about value for money, to be quite honest. You know, they are expensive and I've just got to work out whether I think they're worth it or not. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. You'll probably see me use Holbeins in other videos, maybe, or, um, or talking about them a little bit, so you can tune in and see what I think. So if you do want to watch um, future videos, do remember to click the subscribe button and then you'll get a notification. Um, you can decide how many notifications you get as well, so you can control that. And uh, and then you'll um, when, know when my next one's out. So thank you very much for watching and happy colouring. <laughs>